My wonderful honey. My wonderful honey. <laughs> You <laughs> that's nice. Uh -huh. But you are. Oh, you're sweet you. and you're wonderful. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Um, honey, why is it that some people burn bridges? Why do some people burn bridges? Mm. The reason people burn bridges is because of unresolved internal conflicts. Mm. They have conflicts within themselves. Yeah that they have not yet resolved mm. and they think you are the cause of their problems, oh. so they'll walk out on you. Yeah. They'll block you. There are some people you need to block though, mm. bullies on social media, people who call you and, and insult you and say nasty things to you, or they just call you to bully you, they should yeah. be blocked. Yeah. Because one has to appreciate that talking to someone else is a privilege. Mm. The fact that they've given you their time yeah. is a privilege, you don't abuse that. Mm. But there are those who burn bridges. They have messed up. They themselves have messed up, and now yeah. they walked out on you, yeah. and then they've uh, blocked you, or they walk out on a very good job yeah. because the boss told them off. Such people are immature emotionally. They're not able to handle hardship. Mm. Marriage is not for the immature. It's not for children. It's for fully full-grown adults who are also mature. So those who pack their bags every time there is a disagreement in marriage, they've yeah. packed their bags and they've left. Yeah. Or you come home and you find that they already left. You yeah. call, they're not answering. That's a sign of immaturity. You should not have got into the marriage in the first place. Mm -hmm. You should have waited to mature, to grow up. And the Bible says you grow up mm -hmm. when you hear the word of God. Yeah. yeah. That like newborn babies desire the sincere milk of the word so that you may grow up. Mm -hmm. The word of God will help you grow up emotionally. Yeah. You may be intellectually sound and strong. You might even be an intellectual giant mm. and a very rich and prosperous person. Yeah. But you're an emotional dwarf, a child emotionally. Mm. You've not dealt with your feelings. You were hurt many times and you did not subject that emotion to the healing virtue of Jesus Christ or to some form of counseling where you express yourself to a point where you can be guided and helped to reach healing. Yeah. There are many ways of getting emotionally healed. One of them yeah. is talking. Yeah. Number two is having someone to listen to you. Mm. Yeah, number three is being prayed for. Mm -hmm. Number four, deliverance. There's some demons that just mess up your emotions. Yeah. And if they're not cast out, you'll find a person is easily angered, mm. is volatile, and even gets violent. Yeah. Yeah? They get angry too quickly. That's demonic. Mm. If the demons are cast out, you'll find the person is nice and calm. Mm. So there are many different ways, but they have to be diagnosed first. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. By those who've been given the gift by God of healing people deeply or healing them emotionally. Yeah. So that's the reason they burn bridges. Mm. But they shouldn't. Don't burn bridges because you'll need those people later in life. I'm mm. telling you. Mm -hmm. Especially people who annoy you the most yeah. tend to be people you will need later in life. Yeah. If you have a spouse that annoys you so much, stick to that spouse. They have a way of helping you mature. Mm -hmm. You know what the Bible says? Mm -hmm. The Bible says, irritate each other towards love. Wow. Yeah? Wow. Star mm -hmm. one another towards love. But the real word is irritate mm -hmm. one another towards love. So the one who irritates you yeah. will help you mature really quickly. Yeah. As long as you don't get into this toxic dependency mm. where you're looking for pleasure in a toxic manner yeah. where you get addicted to the one that causes causes you pain that's a different oh. story altogether yeah there are people who are addicted to adrenaline yeah and they only op operate normally mm -hmm. when adrenaline is high yeah when they've annoyed somebody yeah such are people you need to avoid mm -hmm. so there are certain bridges you really need to burn oh. toxic ones okay yeah mm. Toxicity is not good for any relationship. If you're married to a toxic spouse, leave them. Mm. If they're not willing to reform. Mm. If they are toxic but they're willing to reform, don't leave them. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, you'll be leaving the whole world. You leave everybody. <laughs> There's no perfect yeah. person you'll ever get. Yeah. Just like churches, you'll never find a perfect church, perfect preacher, perfect this, perfect that, perfect boss, perfect wife, perfect husband, perfect child. There's no such thing. Mm. God is perfecting everybody. Mm -hmm. It's a process of growth and development. And if you find a spouse or a friend who's willing to reform, yeah. willing to show progressive growth, then stick to them, mm. even if they're irritating and annoying. Yeah. But don't burn bridges, especially if you know that the person you're in a relationship with is somebody who's helped you many times before mm -hmm. and now probably just made a little mistake. Mm. Or somebody you've needed before and came through for you. Yeah. Or somebody who has the wisdom that you need. 
Don't run away just because you've been rebuked. Because mm. the Bible says only bastards run away from chastisement mm. or rebuke. Yeah. That if you're rebuked, that's also a sign of love. Yeah. There's some people who think they should just be praised all the time, but the day you correct them is the day they pack their bags to go. Mm. Stick to the one that is bold enough to correct you. Mm. Don't burn the bridge with them. Yeah. But the toxic, toxic one that pulls you down, that is always out to mess your life up, that one you should block completely and forget about. Mm. But what if they turn around and say sorry yeah. and repent and accept them back, mm -hmm. but know very well that they may try it again? Okay. Yes. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, such um, wonderful and precious wisdom. Mm -hmm. Thank you, honey. Most welcome, baby. Thank okay. you. We love you all. Till next time, goodbye. Bye-bye.